So I think there were two concerns with regards to the merger. Uh, one being that it could potentially depress for about a year or two the financial ratios or, or the return ratios for HDFC Bank, uh, given how the situation pans out on SLR, CRR, yeah. priority lending. And the second was, of course, that is this merger being driven by a too big to grow, uh, you know, sort of mindset or too big to grow fear that at this point, both institutions have hit their limit in terms of growth. And uh, the best way to sort of beat that is to come together. I don't think so. We are still growing. We are still. I'm so you're confident you, uh, post-merger you'll be able to maintain these growth rates? We, we are, uh, I'm very confident we'll be able to. We are opening up. Thousand branches, more branches for the liability side because we need liabilities if we get business. Mm. So um, you have to give us time. This type of this is the biggest merger. It takes time, one year to a transition, and you have to have trust and faith in us that we are capable of doing it and capable of showing good results at the end of it. Okay, so uh, at least twelve to eighteen time, months and, to and, close it. Huh? And at least 12 to 18 months to close it. Yeah. And then months, another year or two thereafter. No, you see, for you see they're, they're, uh, full integration. Benefit. No, no, take for instance, the capital required by the bank, we, bank will not need more capital for some years because we have surplus capital. And our capital adequacy ratio is higher than the bank. So, you know, there are certain benefits. That's if your expectations on SLR, CRR, etc. Yeah, go through. If they go through. Yeah, if yeah. they don't go through and the RBI says no. no even, even, even so, then, is there a plan B? No, there, there, there is a plan B. There what is, is the a, plan B? No, the plan B is that we have to, we have a plan B. What is the plan no, B? No, plan B is there. We, we wouldn't do this without a plan B. Yes, so I, I figured you wouldn't do this without a plan B. Plan B is we'll be we'll be willing to comply with whatever RBI has to say. We have That's no choice. That's not a plan B. That's a no choice situation. Yeah. If the RBI says no, what's the plan B? Plan B, we'll have to comply with the regulations. We'll that's not a plan, it. sir. That's yeah. that's required regulatorily. No, so, so you know there are there you know there are other ways of uh, meeting SLR and CRR regulation. I mean uh, requirements, uh, such as like Reserve Bank itself has come out with some policy in the past that if you borrow seven year money, seven year plus money, it doesn't attract SLRs. We have fair amount of seven year money borrowed, and we can still borrow ten year money even now. We borrowed ten year money last month. Um, and there, it was oversubscribed twice, 10,000 crores. We could get 20,000 crores from the pension funds and the uh, provident funds and all. So we could do in the next one year, three, four, three, four issues of 10, 10,000 crores. And uh, th these are all, uh, you know, we have it in our mind what we have to do. And but, this would bring down your incremental CRR SLR yes, requirements by how much? Have but you that done that? Numbers you have to tell ask KK or others. I, I've seen the numbers. It's You've manageable. Seen the numbers. But we hope. So it would bring down the potential burden. If RBI yeah, doesn't give yeah. you a time concession, then they have to. There allow, are mechanisms like this. There that are you mechanisms. There would are would bring down your or, incremental yeah, burden. Significantly. So at least by more than 50%. Significant means that. Usually. Yeah, we have government security already with us. X amount. Plus, we have seven year plus bonds. So, I'm looking at a Macquarie estimate, yeah. which says that, you know, HDFC Bank will have an excess SLR CRR asset requirement of roughly 700 to 800 Even billion as rupees. As we speak, the bank rupees. also has some yeah. surplus, uh, surplus government securities in their books. So, okay. we have. So, you we, think that this requirement for SLR CRR, without getting into specific numbers, could be cut down by more than half if you were to undertake All some I'm of the steps that you just that we have taken adequate care and we feel that the reserve bank will be accommodative and give us time to be fully compliant and grandfather our assets for some time assets and liabilities that's all i'm saying and if, and for if some reason the reserve bank of india we'll have to make alternate plans which we have in mind what we can do i can sell 1 lakh loans to four banks there are different ways of doing it. You journalists don't understand. So we are asking, that's yeah, why. So, I'm so not assuming or Can't judging. I sell my loans? So you're saying your plan B will allow you to not need to make these additional CRR, SLR requirements? It will be required to the minimum. We'll do whatever is necessary so that more borrowing and more this thing is not necessary by using different methods. And so that puts paid, at least to some extent, to the concerns that at least for the first year or year and a half after the merger, 
the ratios for HDFC Bank would have come down because of these additional requirements. Yes. Yes. That's your response to those who are concerned as shareholders. Yeah. Why have you not articulated this more? Because as you pointed out in previous interviews, this is a related party transaction. It will require a majority of minority. You will need shareholders to support this. And if they know all of this, then they are likely they're to support it to more. Tomorrow, we have to wait for the RBI nod. Okay, all right. <laughs>